Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Nigat Namaz from Islamia College, Peshawar. Today I will give you a lecture on prokaryotes, prokaryotic cell. As its name indicate, prokaryotic cell, pro means primary or before. It, is, it means primary or before. And karyon means nucleus. Karyon means nucleus. So it is the type of cell which is uh, discovered about 3500 years, 3500 years ago, which means uh, that it is discovered be before then that of uh, nucleus. It does not having any proper uh, a membrane enclosed nucleus or we can say a nuclear envelope is not present over there. So prokaryotic cell are the type of cell which does not having any uh, membrane enclosed nucleus. Prokaryotic cell we can say this pro also means primitive or before primary primitive or before. Uh, so uh, prokaryotic cell are generally agar hum iski uh, size ki baat karte hai, so its size is smaller than that of eukaryotic cell the size of the prokaryotic cell is smaller compared to that of uh, eukaryotic cell and its cell division is much more faster it will multiply its multiplication time is faster or more than that of eukaryotic cell so prokaryotic cells are simple cells uh, which does not having any uh, large bodies uh, it is having very small bodies that's why its multiplication or cell division is uh, faster compared to that of eukaryotic cell mm, it is widely distributed in nature if we are talking about its occurrence so it uh, is widely distributed in nature it is occurred in aquatic as well as in dry environment uh, it is also called uh, extremophiles it's um, it is uh, having its life in the extreme uh, condition of environment that is uh, at extreme condition of cold and hot so most of the prokaryotic cell included bacteria and archaea when we are going towards the development of the uh, cells first this is prokaryotics are much more primitive cells prokaryotes are primitive cells from which when we are going towards advanced cell so eukaryotic uh, so this um, included bacteria and archaea uh, when we are going towards the advancement so it will include it protesta along with fungi uh, algae plants and animalia planti bhi keh sakte hain hum plants and animalia animals so uh, this eukaryotic cell are primitive cell which included most of the microorganism a majority of the bacteria are included in that prokaryotic cell and in majority of that bacteria we we can say almost all types of bacteria are included in prokaryotes um, and the majority of the bacteria are uh, beneficial for uh, human life for example lactobacillus are uh, the bacteria type which is present in our milk uh, involved in the yogurt formation along with that there are some bacteria which are present in our uh, lung intestine uh, escherichia coli e coli which are involved in the digestion and absorption of food so bacteria are beneficial as well as um, um, it can causes a harms to a human life uh, that it causes infection uh, to most of the organisms so uh, if we are talking about the structure of prokaryotic cell all prokaryotic cells containing uh, the major structure which are included in this cells uh, the major yeah, main structure present in eukaryotic cells are cell wall this these are the common structure which are present in each and every prokaryotic cells uh, cell membrane 
साइटोप्लाज्म nucleus but uh, uh, nucleus is properly present in eukaryotic cell uh, we can say dna which are present in scattered form in the region and that region is called nucleoid but it is not enclosed in the membrane that's why it is present in um, in a uh, single uh, chromosomal structure over there in the nuclear region and that region is called nucleoid and um, along with it, there are ribosomes which are present over there in the cytoplasm of um, uh, that uh, prokaryotic cell, which are having smaller size than that of eukaryotic cell. There are some additional structure which are present over there uh, along with that. These are the basic structure which are present in each and every prokaryotic cell. And the additional structure which are present in prokaryotic cells are um, included. First one is capsule. Along with that, enfolding of membrane occur. Yeah, we can say invasion or enfolding of cell membrane. Enfolding of cell membrane is commonly called mesosomes. That enfolding of cell membrane is commonly called mesosomes. Mesosomes. So, uh, uh, along with that, there are some other additional structures. Uh, these are um, uh, along with mesosomes, plasmids are also present, which are extra chromosomal DNA present in each and every bacterial cell. Uh, and along with plasmid, there are also uh, flagella and Okay, these are the additional structure which are present in prokaryotic cell. So we will uh, briefly describe these uh, main structure first. Uh, that the main structure which are present in prokaryotic cells are first one is uh, cell wall. So uh, cell wall. The cell wall of prokaryotic cell are made up of uh, murine. Uh, what is murine? Murine is peptidoglycan. It is made up of, this cell wall of prokaryotic cell is mainly made up of murine and that murine is peptidoglycan. As its name indicate, peptido means protein and glycan means polysaccharide. So it means this murine is basically made up of protein plus uh, carbohydrate polysaccharide. So polysaccharide plus protein is called peptidoglycan. Polysaccharides plus protein uh, is uh, the main constituent of the uh, cell wall of the prokaryotic cell. Uh, and if we will talking about the cell membrane, cell, cell membrane, cytoplasm, or DNA, uh, so the cell membrane of um, that prokaryotic cell is uh, the same as like that of eukaryotic cell, that it is having protein along with some of the lipid molecule present embedded in that uh, cell membrane, which are help in the transport of material. But uh, this cell membrane is uh, having semi permeability for the uh, semi permeability for the uh, for the passage of most of the molecule to become passed from uh, from this um, from each cell to uh, become either that is permissible or not this is uh, decided by cell membrane most of the substances which are not permissible which are not um, passing through this membrane but um, uh, which is having uh, less polarity or which is having larger size which will be not passes through this cell membrane but most of the substances which is having polarity or having small size can easily passes so this uh, cell membrane is having semi permeable nature the nature of this cell membrane will be semi permeable to become permissible for some of the sub substances and not permissible for other one so um, after then the, the cytoplasm cytoplasm is the fluidy part of the uh, of the prokaryotic cell um, uh, this uh, cytoplasm which is uh, involved in the most of the metabolic uh, phenomena metabolism ke saath concern hai, and uh, the fluidy part of that uh, cytoplasm is called cytosol that uh, fluidy part of uh, cytoplasm is called uh, 
साइटोसोल इट इज इन्वॉल्व इन द मेटाबॉलिज्म इज विल इज समाबोलिज्म इन केटाबोलिज्म इन ऑल ऑफ द मेटाबॉलिक पाथवे आर अकर ओवर देयर इन दिट साइटोप्लाज्म and uh, the dna dna is a single chromosomal dna present in prokaryotic cell it is single chromosomal and not enclosed in a proper membrane or uh, we can say it is not enclosed in any of the envelope so it is a single uh, chromosomal dna single chromosomal dna which is uh, not enclosed not enclosed in a membrane it is occurred freely in the region of the nucleus that is called that region is called the region where this dna is located is called uh, nucleate nucleate theek and the additional structure included capsule okay uh, then we will comes towards ribosomes yeah the ribosomes is uh, ribosomes it is those bodies which are present in the prokaryotic cell is having smaller size than that of eukaryotic ribosomes the uh, eukaryotic ribosomes is normally having a size of et cd verge uh, and uh, the prokaryotic cell having ribosomes uh, 70s it is made up of two units the smaller unit is 30s and the larger or yeah, bigger unit is uh, 40s so ribosomes is again that one machinery which is involved in the protein synthesis it is the machinery of the cell which is involved in um, protein cell synthesis which involved in protein synthesis now we will comes towards the additional structure which are present over there that is capsule capsule is also called a slimy layer the additional structure present in that um, prokaryotic cell is capsule which is a slimy layer which may be a loose or slimy it 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 may be a loose or a rigid but this slimy layer is uh having uh, an active um, that is active protective layer uh, and it is made up of starch and glycolipids it is a uh, um, protective layer or we can say active protective layer protective layer present outside then that of cell wall and uh it is made up of starch and glycolipid starch and glycolipids mainly made up of starch and glycolipids it protect bacteria from dryness and desiccation um ye hamare paas uh, it can also act uh, is um, it can also act as an immune system for bacteria protecting it uh, from bacteriophage or most of the viruses so this capsule is uh, necessary for the bacteria to become uh, a protective layer mainly protecting it from uh, desiccation or dryness desiccation or dryness or we can say it is also protecting bacteria from very cold condition so um this protective layer um of bacteria also act as an immune system it can also act as an immune system for bacteria we can say it protect bacteria from bacteriophage it protect bacteria from viruses or bacteria phage bacteria eating okay now we will comes towards the another one additional structure that is uh, 
flagella. Uh, this prokaryotic cell is generally not having any of the membrane bounded organelle. So, the additional structure also included a very long structure which is extended structure from its cell that is called flagella. If we will draw a simple structure of prokaryotic cell then we can draw it like that. This for example this is a prokaryotic cell which is having the cell membrane. This blue one is a cell membrane of prokaryotic cell. If we will start it from uh, cell membrane. And outside to that cell membrane, there is a, a thick cell wall. This is a cell wall which is present in each and every prokaryotic cell. Along with it, outside to that um, cell wall, there is a slimy layer. Glycocalyx we hum isko kya sakte hain and capsule bhi kehte hain and this is also called a slimy layer and this slimy layer is made up of this uh, slimy layer is mainly a protective layer which is made up of glycolipids and starch capsule which is a very very important structure present in each and every prokaryotic cell which will mainly gives a protection to the cell along with uh, that it can also act as an immune system as I have told you already okay there is an extended structure present uh, outside of that cell that is called flagella if we, if we can draw flagella uh, over here so, it will visible if we draw karte hain, this is a structure of flagella. Flagella is made up of protein flagellin. It is made up of protein that is called flagellin. And this is the cytoplasm of the uh, prokaryotic cell. And the organelle, there is no membrane uh, bounded organelle present over there, but there are uh, uh, enfolded of DNA is present over here in prokaryotic cell. This is the uh, folded DNA, uh, which is openly present in the cytoplasm. It is not enclosed in any of the membrane to become a proper nucleus. So this one chromosomal DNA along with it, there is one of the extra chromosomal DNA that is called plasmid which can be easily transferred from one bacteria to another one bacteria. So, uh, there is a, a very, the last one uh, structure, additional structure, which is present in that uh, prokaryotic cell is pili, which are the smaller extension. We can say it is a smaller form of that. Um, the larger one is flagella and the smaller and many uh, pili are present on the outer structure of this uh, prokaryotic cell which are involved in the movement it will give the movement as well as help in the conjugation of bacteria with one another movement as well as in the uh, conjugation phenomena it help in conjugation of the bacteria so this is the overall structure of the prokaryotic cell um, which does not having any membrane bounded organelle and uh, uh, the cell wall structure of um, this uh, prokaryotic cell if we, we if we, we will go in detail of the structure cell wall structure of that prokaryotic cell which is uh, different in different bacteria as we have said that most of the prokaryotic cell included bacteria so bacteria included um, on the basis of shape we can divide that bacteria into a three types on the basis of shape if we generally classify the bacteria on um, on a, a very broad level so bacteria can be divided into uh, a three types it can be divided into uh, three or four types types on the basis of of its shape 
that is um, uh, cylindrical or uh, we can say that um, most of the bacteria are having uh, um, cocci or spherical nature that is streptococcus and staphylococcus streptococcus and staphylococcus bacteria cocci cocci means it is spherical in shape and the another one is um, uh, um, cocci bacilli and spirilla spirilla spring like and uh, vibro vibri and the bacteria can be divided into two types broadly that is gram positive and gram negative on the basis of its cell wall structure on the basis of cell wall bacteria can be divided into two types bacteria can be divided into two types first one is gram positive bacteria and another one is gram negative bacteria gram positive bacteria uh, is having a thick layer of peptidoglycan with a lot of tachoic acid it is having a thick layer of peptidoglycan along with tachoic acid and this gram negative bacteria is having a thin layer of peptidoglycan with no tachoic acid it is having thin layer of peptidoglycan with no tachoic acid with no tachoic acid so uh hamare paas uh jo gram positive bacteria hote hain wo peptidoglycan ki wajah se hi stain lete hain what is stain what are the chemical composition of stain i will tell you about uh, that stain um, uh, this purple violet stain in my next one lecture inshallah uh, this thick layer of peptidoglycan is uh, responsible for uh, taking that violet strain by gram positive bacteria but not taking by this gram negative bacteria over there this uh, peptidoglycan layer is uh, thin so um, i will end it up with this one uh, structure of prokaryotic cell that's all about the structure of prokaryotic cell